In this video, we're going to show you how to upgrade the software in your AF4500 EFIS. So, I've got my PC running Windows here. First thing we're going to do is click on Internet Explorer down here on the bottom. Internet Explorer comes up. Then what we're going to do is we're going to type Advanced Flight Systems. There it came up. Okay, now we're at our home page for Advanced Flight Systems. You can go over here to the News or you can hit Support, AF4500, click on that. Scroll down to the bottom. Here's the latest software. Click on the software. Now your choices are Open, Save, or Save As. So let's go ahead and click Save As. And we need to pick somewhere to save it over here. So what I always do is save it on my desktop. So I clicked on the desktop up here and hit Save. Now what we're going to do, as you can see on the bottom, it's downloading the data. We're at 36, 42%. It should download. And then once we get to 100%, we're going to open it up and move it to the card. Okay. Now you notice it's downloaded. We're going to hit Open. It automatically opened up the zip file. We're going to click with the left mouse button and select all the files. Right click, Copy. Now we've copied all the files. Now the next thing to do is stick our SD card into our computer. The SD card's into the computer. Next thing to do is hit on My Computer. There's the SD card. It's named AFS SD. Double click. And then we're going to right click and say paste. As soon as we do that, it moves all the files over to your SD card. Okay, notice now all the files have been copied to our card. Here's the name right here. It's AFS SD. That could be any name, it doesn't really matter. And there's an AFS underscore install folder, air rink hex, air rink TCAS hex. VPXHW01 hex and VPXHW01 MDS. Once you have all those files, you're done. Now, what you can do is go ahead and close this out and eject the card. So, we'll take the card out and we're ready to put it in the EFIS. Here's another way to open a zip file. Notice the zip file here is on our desktop. If we right click on it, then all we have to do is say extract all. It brings up our computer. What we want to do is browse. And what we're looking for is our CD drive. So we hit computer. And on mine, there's AFS data drive F. We'll click that and hit OK. Then hit extract. Now what it's going to do is it's going to extract all the files onto the SD card. Okay, now let's check it. So let's go down to my computer, open up our drive right here, double click AFS Data F, that's our SD. Notice there are all the files the install directory and the four support files. Okay, here we are at the AS4500. Notice the EFIS is turned off. You never want to take the SD card out with the EFIS with power on. So we're going to take out the mapping card, set it aside. We're going to take our software install card, insert it into it till it clicks, it's set. Then we're going to power up the EFIS. Okay, we've now powered up the EFIS. Notice that it is installing the software. It should go through and install. This should take... Okay, after the software installed, it comes up with I agree. Now, you always want to remove the install card. If you leave it in, every time you power up, it's going to reinstall the software, which takes up to five minutes. So let's go ahead and turn off the power and let it shut down on its own. Okay, once the unit shuts down, we can pull out the install card. And we're going to put back in our map data card, and we can power up the system.
If it takes longer than about 35 seconds for your screen to boot, you have install software on the card. It should not take longer than that. There it's up and running. We're just going to hit, I agree. There. New software is installed. We're ready to go. You can also check the version by hitting check, maintenance, about. Here's the version. In this case, it's 882.